It's important for a mum to quit smoking during pregnancy if she's a smoker. There's a lot of health benefits to the child while it's growing inside mum's belly and when it's born. When a woman smokes in pregnancy, the oxygen is converted to carbon monoxide when it goes to the baby and this can restrict bub's growth. They're more prone to having otitis media, gluea and chronic respiratory problems later on in life. Some people that can help you on your quit journey include Aboriginal health workers, your midwives, your doctor or your Aboriginal medical service. Some things that are usually good for families when they're trying to quit include nicotine replacement therapy, there's apps that you can download, the quit line also provide great support and have Aboriginal counsellors available at their service if um, a family prefers to talk to an Aboriginal counsellor. Some tips that are important to remember when you're trying to quit smoking. Try to separate your habits. So if they usually have their cigarette when they're having a coffee or a soft drink or after a meal, it's really good to try and separate those at first before trying to go on your quit journey. Some people do experience withdrawals when they try to quit smoking. Some of these could include headaches, some nightmares when they're sleeping, and usually that's related to the withdrawal from the cigarettes and not typically the nicotine replacement therapy that they are using while trying to quit. So if you're already on your quit journey and you do have a setback or a little hiccup, then that's okay. Just keep on trying. The more times you do try and quit, the more successful you are. If you are successful at quitting smoking, it's really good for you to be a role model for your family members, your friends and your community. You can help share your story with others to help them quit and be around for our children, our grandchildren, even great-grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs>